meeting of Tuesday, November 21st, 2017. And if you'd like to stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
and I think the the last that we had left it with just the thoughts for the design was that the assessor's office would be partitioned into a new bathroom space with the back half of it being um, basically a meeting room space um, and then the assessor's office would be moving over towards the kitchen ways and we would also sort out the accessibility issues thresholds and otherwise in the ramp getting into the building as part of that contract work um, uh, and uh, just an interesting tidbit about the the, the he, this is the same architect who did the um, the need study so it's like basically a continuation of that contract work but um, he was having trouble finding an engineer and so we sort of put some feelers out and we were able to find uh, Jeff White who's a local um, mechanical and electrical contractor was able to step in and become part of the team the design team for that so so um, with your approval we're looking forward to working with them on this project so so the approval so we are going to be having the bathroom facilities here that unless we come into some design issues um, I, that is the, the intention to move forward, get a new bathroom space. Okay, so we're not going to do anything right now with the... Um... If we can improve the accessibility on that as part of the scope, we will. Okay. Um, the, the goal is to get the whole first floor okay. accessible. Now, um, I thought the little back area that mm -hmm. you're going to do, I thought that was going to be like a little lunch room. Yeah, it, it will be a... Or I mean, or be a little area where there would be like a sink and a microwave. Exactly. Like that. Yeah, that's sort of like the same, same thing that we're using the kitchen for. It okay. would basically, those needs would be met over there, okay. which would work better with the um, the plumbing situation and the drains. Yeah, I know. I know so. we've discussed that before. Yeah. So then the assessors will take over half the office here. Exactly. That mean half the room there. Okay. Yeah. So you just need our approval? Yep, yep. We don't, we have no author authority to, to sign or approve contracts, so we're just presenting our recommendation to your board for approval. And, um, but we will, you know, with your approval, we will move forward okay. with it. All right, I'd like a motion to approve the Austin design proposal for the You have that motion. I'll second. Any discussion on this? Nope. No? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you, Bill, for coming. Thank you very much. And thank you for the work that you all done so far. The fact that we've got the, the heat going again. And oh, yes, yeah. And an, an update yeah, is the as furnace. Far as it is. The, the other furnace is on. You can check it out. They they just put in the um, thermostat today. So Great. I noticed it in the, the hallway. <laughs> it's nice and warm out there. Yes, well, <laughs> well, instead of the, uh, the, I don't know how old that last furnace was, but that that furnace is gone. We've got a new dual furnace system in the basement, yeah. all fed by natural gas. So. Oh, and we are up to date with at least half of the town hall's heating system at the moment. Well, so. Thank you, Bill, for all your time <laughs> and effort that you put in with so, us. So it's appreciated very much. Glad to have something accomplished. So. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, our next one is to sign pole attachment agreement with Verizon. Uh, this is um, in order to efficiently maintain utility poles across the straight state, Eversource National Grid until and Verizon have all been engaged in utilizing a web-based beta system called NJUNS to track all poles in the state. The database benefits emergency restorations, the removal of town poles, and the transferring of associated attachments owned by commercial and municipal entities. Automatic notification is sent to entities attached to utility poles when it's their turn to move an attachment for an old pole to a replacement. Basically what this is, this is an inventory of all the, of all the poles in the town. Basically that's and what eventually the second poles at mo most locations might get removed. Oh, I know. That's what I was going to say is can I we know, sign this contingent yeah. on the fact that they replaced the double pole know, that's yeah, sitting on that? Uh, oh, yeah, I know. Mean, there's so many. So, I I so, so you have a motion to that. sign away. So, Second. Okay. Any discussion on this? No. Okay. It's a it's a it's a okay. I, I see I. this, Karen. Did you see? Yeah, there's another one oh, here. Yeah, I think there's two of them. Yeah, because I saw it. Alrighty. So, which one? Right down here. This is the one I'm supposed to. Is that the one to sign? Because it says here this form has hmm. Yeah. And then this one. Okay. All right. I'll sign this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With the yellow All right. All right. 
and then you can put the telephone in the email, please. I'll, I'll Thank you. All righty. And this other one down here. It's tricky because it's in the folder and it's on the opposite side, so it, it's not. Get all folded and now, what is this? These three of them here, licensee, is that for them? See, there's three other ones that are highlighted here, too. Let's see? Let's see. I think Mike is the one, he's the one that gave it to me. I think he highlighted it. So we're going to do a licensee. No, that's, that's. Okay. No, you it's don't easy. have to sign. All you have to sign is where? Oh, just right here. Okay. here is a resignation. This is um, to the Board of Selectmen and this is from uh, Keith Carmen, who is the director of the Brookfield Emergency Management and he is um, because of health reasons he's retiring mm -hmm. and uh, he said that he would like to switch over and have uh, Peter Martell who is the deputy become the director and then also he said that he would like to stay on as the deputy director and to continue with the Blackboard Connect and update to help Peter Martell in any way he can. And he said that Peter was the director long before he was involved with uh, emergency management. He said he's always there to help with anything to make the town of Brookfield a safer place to live and work. And so I would like to, uh, put, you know, this is with regret, you know, I feel to, to accept this because Keith has done a, a great Good job for the Tainsman with the town for many years too. Yep. So we just <coughs> will wish him, wish him uh, good health and best in any endeavors that he has. So right. I'd like a motion to accept this. You have that motion? Second. Mm -hmm. Karen. And we'll Karen, that. you'll send him a letter. Okay. So do we need to take an action on the other? Um, um, the next meeting I'll we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. She'll, she'll have, have, yeah, she'll have yeah, okay. she'll have, Karen will have that taken care of. Great. Okay, now we have some wage authorizations. The first one we come to here is for the clerk for the ZBA. Uh, it's Patricia Campianco. And um, they, the personnel board met last week and I couldn't meet with them because I had had another engagement. And what they did was they gave her a grade one and a step one and it only brought her up to uh, eleven dollars, and to me, I don't think that is a fair rate of pay, be because um, she has experience. She's been a town manager in a couple of communities, and we um, just hired when Al Jones over here in the assessor's office. He just hired his clerk, and he paid her, I think, thirteen something. I don't know what it was, but the average clerks get thirteen sixty six an hour. So um, I just, I don't think it's right that we should be paying her $11 an hour. Was there a recommendation from the board? It, that, um, well, the board had originally wanted $15 an hour. That's what the ZBA wanted to pay her. Okay. And we had refused to sign it once before. But um, I know um, this, Ken, um, I had talked to Holly Chisholm, who's also on the board, and Holly wasn't there last week when they met either. And, um, Holly said that um, she thinks it should be reviewed again, but I mean, I just don't think it's right to pay somebody who is a town manager in, in a couple of communities $11 an hour with that kind of experience. And then somebody has been hired over in the assessor's office who, who's never done the assessor's work and they're getting 13 something an hour. Oh, I'm fine with the 13. I mean, 
I am. I, 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 well, I mean, unfortunately, I think we have to refer it back to the personnel board. Yep. They meet again the 27th, I believe. Is it the 27th or the 29th? 29th. But so, if she's been working, I mean, the woman's been working now for how long, Karen? Several weeks. Yep. So, right, and she hasn't got paid. Oh, oh, and and she, we can't, I had talked to town council about this. Town, well, she's, yeah. town council said if somebody works, you have to pay. Oh, yeah. them. Oh, oh, absolutely. Well, that's what I said. Well, well I think. You have well, to what we could do, given the fact that the personnel committee initial rule is at eleven dollars an hour, is we could approve the wage authorization, but then refer it back to them so she could get paid the eleven dollars an hour. And, and this is just get, like when, when like we and, update a contract, and, to, yeah, and, and we could and we could we could we could make the pay retroactive once we yeah. get it worked out with the yeah. committee. But yeah. I think that's the advisable way to do it. Is is the what's before us from the personnel committee is eleven dollars an hour. Let's approve that but refer it back to them and say that we really don't concur with what their findings were and that we, we'd like to see them reconsider the step in yes. particular um, because, you know, they can't, I don't think they can change the grade of the job because it's the Zoning Board of Appeals and I think that's what it's designated as in the personnel bylaws, but I think based on her experience we can certainly yeah, consider she, she, a step yeah, increase. She should be making much more than 11. So, so okay. let's approve it at the 11 yeah. just for the sake of, of honoring the process. And then, and then I also want in that motion that she will get paid retroactive for, yeah, know, that will record, yeah, that will advise, yeah. We will advise that she get paid retroactive. retroactive. All right, so could I have a motion for that? You'll have a motion for that. I'll second. Okay, and, and we've already discussed it. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that's nine. Then I've given your work, your study information, mm -hmm. your study information that you came up with. Okay. Yeah, all that information about what most clerks are paid and yep. the like. You see, I couldn't make the meeting, and Holly couldn't make it either. And they may not have had all the information in front of them either. Oh, yeah, they, well, they have the job description here. Right, but they might not have had her experience in front of them. Yeah, either. I think that they, they need... They wage and stuff, that's what they said. I, yeah, and that's what it came up. I really think that we need to have Pat, if you want to get in touch with her, and see if she could do some kind of a resume and okay. let us know just what she has done for work. Yeah. I might even have a copy of it. We have another one here. This came from um, the EMS from uh, Donna LaFleur, and it's a hire for 10117. It's Michael Laird, and uh, it says the hourly uh, the hourly salary is going to be 1590 an hour for a $50 shift. And Donna has signed this, and the personnel board has signed it. So I would like to file motion, motion to approve. Sign. <clears throat> Second. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, then we have another one. <laughs> Form from uh, the highway supervisor for Chafee. This is to employ Daniel Driscoll for casual on call at the rate of uh, $15 an hour. I'd like a motion. You have a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and this is another one from uh, the highway superintendent. This is for Luke Quattroselli, part-time laborer, uh, for uh, $12 an hour. I would like a motion for that. You have a motion for that. Uh, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, any discussion? Oh, I should have asked any discussion on this. No, $12. Okay. 
Moving on. Uh, I would like to um, a motion to sign uh, the liquor licenses for um, 2018. For you have. Okay. Um, would you, you like do me them together to or separately? Well, we can do them all together if okay. I can name off the different ones here. All right. Um, Retail package. Have they changed the name? What are you talking? It says about? retail package. Oh, right. But it, but see, the name is down at the bottom where it says Boswell. That's what this. That's how the licenses are. For some oh, reason. they're different. Well, okay. that's how they're in the computer, and that's how we. Think. Okay, there's one for Boswell Enterprises Incorporating Central Package Street Store for Jason Boswell, the manager. Mm -hmm. And there's one here for Bay Path Spirits with um, Peter McNerney as manager. And there's also one here for the Clam Box for Timothy Dugas, who's the manager. And there's also one here for Pat Patricia White from White's Landing at 7 Fistale Road. And uh, one more. And then we have one more here for the Brookfield Rod and Gun Club. I would like a motion to you sign have, these. You have a motion to sign. Second proof of them. Any discussion with any of these? We're fortunate. Okay. Other towns and other issues, and we don't seem to have those. Hang on. Yeah. We, oh, we're all signing. Yeah, we're all signing. Okay, got it. Gender is from the end of book to the assessor's office. Oh, oh did I get, yeah, yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Okay. Um, next on our agenda is to vote to allow the assessors to hire Bishop and Associates to help out with the solar contract. Right. <clears throat> and um, he reached out to our uh, consultant. He works for them, Roy Bishop and Associates. He's willing to negotiate our, on our behalf at the cost of $1,000 per pilot agreement. And Roy has been with the town of Brookfield. I was an assessor back in the 90s, so he's, I, I was one of the ones that hired him. So Roy has been with us for many years, and he's done these solo contracts in all of our area towns because he's worked for all the area towns. So I would like to make a motion to allow the assessors to hire Roy Bishop and Associates. You have that motion, madam. I'll second. Any discussion on this? Um, I'd like the opportunity, just because I don't know Roy personally, to just give him a call and, and understand. Yeah. It sounds like he's got some great experience. Oh, yes. Roy Roy is the one that comes in. He's, he does some um, certification. You know, when yep. we have to have recertification of the town, he's, he does that. He does our, I don't know if he's still doing our building permits. He will go, he used to go to the appellate tax board whenever we've had, you know, any the problems. Yep. He's very good. He's been with us for many years. Oh, I'm sure he is. I just I just want to understand the process a little bit more because um, from what I understand, we may have some, some more um, yes, developers I, approaching yes, us about I know, about I know projects, there is so. another one coming on board so, also. Yep. Yeah. So, you no, know, feel Karen, uh, uh, feel free to see Alan, get the call right. Great. Awesome. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. Al also mentioned that he believes that Mr. Bishop is going to negotiate with the solo company to pay that fee, so it probably right. isn't going to cost the time. Oh, perfect. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, he'll try to work it into the contract so that we don't wind up actually footing the bill. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I know he was, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. That was in that small report. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, I'd like to have an approval of that. A motion? You have a motion to that effect. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we're all set there. Okay. Now, what is this one here? Set the meeting. We want to set. Meeting, okay, let's set some meeting. And also, yeah. like I said, um, I think Speaker Valley does what they have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have, um, Al needs to, we have to have a, a class tax of a t classification here. Huh? Okay. No, a tax classification yeah. hearing, and um, if we, it should be done pretty soon because we're going to have the tax rate set. So even if we wanted to do one, you know, it's got to be advertised for two weeks, and if we, our next meeting, if we set them tonight. We did the 11, 4 and 18 is December. Did that make sense? Probably 4, 4 and 18. Oops, I forgot that right. You want to do them on Monday? I'm sorry. I'm, I was looking at Monday. Oh. But did 5 and five and 19. 5 and 19. Now, oh, I won't be here on the 19th. I won't um, be here. That's your choice. I mean, we can do it if you want. No, well, yeah, but no. If we're going to do the tax classification, then the, then we need another date. We need another date. Oh, we can do what we can do. We could even have uh, have it done during the day. Is the day best that you could come in? We could um, either Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Um, usually, morning is better than afternoon. Okay, so. Al has to advertise it for two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. So why don't we maybe make one for uh, if you can, if you it, can get it, it right in? Do you like to get it in, Karen? No, it doesn't. It, it won't get in until the starting December fourth. At this, I don't know. It's not going to come in for this week. It'll have. It'll have to get it in Tuesday for next week. For next week. So we could probably. Do we want to meet on a? You said Tuesdays are good, Beth? Tuesdays or Wednesdays. How about we have a meeting, a quick meeting with that on the 13th of December? So 12, 5 and 12, 13. So regular meeting 5 and, and then special 12, 13. Yeah. And then let's talk about 19 again. Yeah, I can, be, I can be there on the 19th. It's not a problem. So it's just up to Linda if she wants us to go forward with, at least tentatively for the 19th. Well, we're, if we're having, we might have some business, extra business on the 13th, we don't know. Right, and then, well, we can't, well, well and then what? You can always the, cancel the 19th. We'll can't, yeah. yeah, let's see yeah. where we are for the 13th okay. and All right. the 19th. So okay, so what time do we want to call this meeting for 9.30? Uh, 10 o'clock's better. 10 is better, okay. 10 is better, just in case. And then 7 p.m. for the 5th. 7 p.m. Okay. for the 19th if we do it. 6.30 for the 19th. Oh, sit, thank you. 6.30. <laughs> I've got my meetings confused again. So, I don't have a, a new one for 18. Uh, I, can, I can give you 18 if you I mean, I have it here on the side. So, let's see. We'll go into, we meet. Do the ninth on okay. the twenty-third. Okay, one sec, Beth. I was on the wrong one. Okay, we got yeah. that one here. Mm -hmm. Nine and twenty-three makes sense. Okay, so you want to do one? Nine and twenty-three. Nine and the twenty-third, and then in February we could probably do one on the sixth. Six and thirteen. This. Uh, six and six twenty. Six and twenty. Okay, we'll just set them up for those two, those three months. Yep. So if you want to tell Alan tomorrow, see if you can get in the classification yes, here. Tell him we're going to meet at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. on Wednesday. All right. I'd like to motion to approve those dates. You have that motion. Any discussion on any of those? Hey, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now under cover. This is okay.
Okay, Jeffrey, did you want to bring up something on the other you said this evening? Oh, yes. Um, so I got approached by uh, Mr. Mark Moore um, of High Street, I believe. And uh, uh, a couple of times he's been asking about um, if we wanted to, as a community, recognize the folks that have been in um, kind of live fire engagements um, since Vietnam, because we really don't have any type of visible physical memorial to mm -hmm. folks that have served in some of our conflicts since Vietnam within town. Uh, and, you know, what that looks like, I don't know that we know yet, but I think it might be of value to at least put together or, or offer up to the community the opportunity to participate in the committee to develop a um, concept or plan for what might be an, a, an appropriate kind of recognition of that post-Vietnam service, you know. We, we would probably have to because our other memorial committee had they, uh, you know, we end, when did we, um, was that last year? It's just been last it's year. It's been the last year, so I think probably to get started on something like that, we need um, some people to be on the a memorial committee. <coughs> so my thought was that, you know, we could discuss it so long as conceptually uh, we're in agreement that um, it's something we want to at least explore. Oh, yes. You know, uh, going forward with, I figured maybe Karen could start by reaching out to the previous members of the Memorial Committee. I know Mr. Moore had said that he was willing to participate and, and had some ideas. I don't know, Tara, if you had anything to add specifically to the to the conversation. That's that's pretty much about the central level at this point. You know, obviously right. we've tossed ideas around. Yeah, I've, uh, I've reached out to somebody uh, that I know that has actually spent um, spent 15 years doing it for the for the U.S. Army in Europe, mm -hmm. uh, doing uh, memorial maintenance and memorial upkeep, um, as well as runs a private foundation now there, uh, who has at least some great guidelines for groups that are trying to put together uh, appropriate recognition and stuff yeah, that'll kind of stand the, some the kind test of, of time. To do this. Right, and, and that's one of the things the committee would be responsible, responsible for coming for up with is, is what's the funding plan, what's the maintenance funding plan, mm -hmm. um, do we need to start up a separate, you know, 5013C that's a nonprofit yeah. that, that supports the, we have that problem with the memorials throughout town, I mean, the, the condition of some of our benches and, and yeah. other things that have been installed. Uh, it would it, it would be to our benefit, I think, to have mm -hmm. the committee not just look at the new, yeah. but also consider how we maintain the old. Because I know the question that came up of the flags with, with the, yeah. the Joe Murray Bridge mm -hmm. is is how do we ensure appropriate care and maintenance of what we well, have? Those well. were those flags were bought and maintained. Bruce Clark had bought them, yeah. and Bruce and um, Chris Murray, Mr. Murray's son, they have been taking care of those flags right. down there. Right, but but you know it's that kind of question though, and, and I think it, it might be a, a timely for us to, mm -hmm. to take a look at that. So All right, so if you want to get gather um, some, if some names up, if he would like to get Mark Moore, mm -hmm. if Mark would like to maybe, can he can probably get the names from Karen who was on the previous committee. If he wants to you know ask them if they would like to serve, he can you know get them or anybody else that he knows that would like to serve. We can do a little Facebook outreach yeah. and yeah. see who we can find. So, uh, mm -hmm. Citizen by the 15th of December. Oh, that's right. Still got time to write an article. Yeah. So that would be a great idea to get the word out there. Yeah. Okay. So are we all in favor then to... Um, Keep going. I'll, I'll make the motion to, to uh, develop a, a charge and uh, start soliciting for... Well, we members. do have a charge. Okay. Don't, yeah, we have yeah, a charge, yeah. Karen. Yeah. Right. use the same charge as well. <laughs> Uh, if you could send me what it is and then um, and do that. And so. then we'll all approve it if you do have at, some at the changes. Next meeting. Yep. Okay. All, all right. right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now, do we have any other others? To have? I have two others. Others. On it, if, if there's anything else. No, because we had people joined. Did, did we have anybody that was here to address the board? Or? Okay. Steve, so, are you here tonight? I'm just here. All right. Okay. So I have two other others. Okay. The, the first one was the campground and the Adena project. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm into my third revision of documents to go back and forth between UMass and 
that's uh, historical. <laughs> it's been two months and we're getting there. We are getting there. The National Historic Register document is done. And, mm -hmm. and I pray nobody has any further edits. But uh, it sounds like that one's done. Mm -hmm. the, the actual report where of the ac archaeology ac activities themselves, lots of, uh, it's quite a thick document. Okay. It's about three, three quarters of an mm -hmm. inch thick. Um, there's always been the, the typo kind of thing, so they're still going. So it will close at some point. Okay. I just report that. And then the Open Space and Rec uh, uh, committee, uh, uh, Dialogue Committee, that we've uh, come together, we've got information, and what we'll be doing in uh, January uh, and in February is to have some uh, public hearing kind of mm -hmm. me meetings with what people have told us mm -hmm. to make sure what they told us is really what they want. So. So that's what I have for two others. Okay. So I don't know if we have any other others, so we'll just... Uh... Correspondence. Okay. Okay, our correspondence here we have from the town of East Brookfield. It's on the Lashaway Drawdown. It says, uh, Dear ladies and gentlemen, please be advised that we will begin the annual drawdown of Lake Lashaway on or about November 13th. Oh, this is late getting to us, well, 2017. Got it stand, as it so. is in the past, it will be gradually done so that as to the least amount of the impact downstream as possible. If you have any encounters, any problems, please contact East Brookfield Selectman or Dennis Clark, who is the keeper of the outlet gate. And this is signed by Theodore A. Booley, Jr., Chairman of the Brook Board of Selectmen in East Brookfield. Now we have another one here. It says um, some more charter communications, upcoming changes. I'm providing you with this notice as a part of our ongoing efforts to keep you apprised of developments affecting charter subscribers in your community. Effective on after November 13, 2017, I-24 news launch programming will launch SD and HD versions on the Spectrum tier, tier one silver and premium lineup. For a complete lineup, visit spectrum.com slash channels. If you have any questions, I can be reached at 774-243-9735 or via email at annalucy at charter.com. And that's it on our announcements. So if we don't have anything else on the agenda here tonight, I would like a, a motion to, to adjourn. adjourn at 7 10. I'll give you that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.